Hey guys, today I want to address a common concern I see with small pet owners worrying that their animal is not taming as fast as they expect it to. Maybe they've had it just a few days, maybe they've had it a few weeks, or even a few months and the animal still is not tamed. They've been doing everything right, they've been following so many different methods for taming and they can't figure out what's wrong or if the animal is ever going to be tame. Basically, I'll be answering the question, how long does taming take? What's normal? What's not normal? Normal. What should I be worried about? Now some of you may not be thrilled about the answer, but the truth is there is no answer. There is no specific length of time to expect an animal to become tame by. It actually depends on a few different factors. Personality, consistency, and perseverance. Obviously when I say personality, I mean the animal's personality. Maybe the human personality comes into it a little bit, but mostly it's about the animal. For example, if your new pet is timid and not very trusting, it is likely going to take much longer to tame that animal than it would to tame one that's more confident and curious and more trusting. I mean, taming really is all about gaining the trust of the animal, getting them to trust that you are not a threat, you are not a predator, you're not going to harm them, and that handling them is perfectly fine. So if you have an animal that's already quite trusting, naturally is going to warm to you much quicker than one that isn't. A common false expectation I see a lot with especially young pet owners is thinking that if they get a particular species, a particular sex of animal, then it's going to behave in a certain way. But it is perfectly possible for you to have two different animals of the same species, the same sex, even the same color and coat type, and for them to have totally opposite personalities. So don't expect just because you've had one animal that has behaved a certain way, that an identical animal will also behave that way. They do have individual personalities. The second thing to take into consideration with taming is consistency. You've got to be consistent with it. You've got to be taming them every single day, sometimes a couple of times a day. You might want to get three, four, even five taming sessions in depending on the animal you're working with every single day. You've got to keep at it and if you don't, don't be surprised when you're not seeing results. Of course that does not mean that you should be rushing the animal. If you try and push the animal into doing something they really don't want to do, you're going to create a negative association with you and your presence and the animal is going to be less inclined to want to be with you or to be handled by you. So make sure you're working on taming every single day but also focus on the animal's body language and just make sure you're not putting them in a situation that makes them uncomfortable. Now of course there may be the occasional day where you're just too busy to fit in a taming session. If that happens, don't freak out. Just get right back on there the next day with the taming and everything should be fine. And the third and final step to successful taming is perseverance. You've got to keep at it for as long as it takes. I have seen people who have brought home new animals and they've tamed it for maybe a week or two, not seen any obvious results and then just given up and wondered why nothing has happened. Taming time is one of those things a lot of people don't take into consideration before they bring the animal home. Some people expect the animal to be tamed from the moment they bring it into their lives. Some people expect it to just take a couple of days when the reality is it might be tame as soon as you bring it home. It might take a couple of days. It might take a few weeks. It might take a few months or it might take over a year. So if you're someone who is currently in this situation where you have a small pet, you've been taming it for a while and you don't feel like you're seeing any progress, just keep being persistent. You can try a couple of different taming methods if you feel you need to, if you feel the current one really is not working out for that particular animal, but don't be changing up your methods too frequently because this can cause even more confusion and can cause you to step backwards instead of stepping forwards. The most rewarding part of taming no matter how long it takes is when the animal finally trusts you and you realize all that hard work all that time has finally paid off it really is a wonderful feeling so please don't give up even if you feel like you're not making progress don't give up i promise you eventually you will start to see progress and that animal will start to trust you and you will start to build a great relationship with them so i really hope i've cleared up any concerns any worries you might have over taming your small pet if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful please don't forget to leave a thumbs up. You can also share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye!